Good morning to all present here. We welcome you to the annual prize day function for the year 2023. I request the president, Mr. Jacob Thomas, senior vice president, student and staff welfare, Ms. Sarah Jacob, principal, Ms. Sheila Alexander, to escort our guest of honor, Mrs. Elsima Thomas, to the stage. Kindly remain standing for the prayer led by Ital Inaya of grade 3. All join your hands, close your eyes and please bow your heads. O dear Good Shepherd, my God and my light, be with me always, day and night. Teach me to do what's good and right and always keep me within thy sight. Amen. Please remain standing and join in singing the school song, Hail Good Shepherd. The school prayer will be led by Prakati Prakash, the Winter House Girls Captain. Please bow your head. Oh dear Good Shepherd, make our school a home away from our home. Make us always feel that we all belong to a family and that the teachers are like our parents. We believe that you speak through them when we listen to them. Give more wisdom to all concerned with us so that they may guide us always on the right path. Make us know your presence and power 
by rewarding and punishing us. Let us not become proud when we are rewarded and let us not become humiliated when you punish us for our mistakes. Give us enough strength to forget and forgive as you forgive us our sins. We thank you for the showers of blessings on this school for its growth and progress into a big and a good school. Give us everything to make our lives in this school a happy one. This we ask for your love's sake. Amen. Please be seated. I invite the girls' school captain, Himangani Javla, to deliv deliver the welcome address and felicitate ma'am. The name envelops the walls of Good Shepherd International School like a comforting blanket. She is the driving force behind the extraordinary and dynamic vision of the school that does not only constrain academic excellence, but also an immense amount of respect, appreciation, and value. She is the embodiment of a mother who has a quality that is so natural to her that it's so difficult not to notice. Her meticulous nature is a quality that stands out. She is an undeniably woman of grace, kindness, love, and possesses a caring nature. But most importantly, she's a, she's a brave and a strong woman. She's a lady who has overcome an unimaginable number of obstacles to reach where she is today. As you all must have already guessed, the person I'm speaking about today is none other than our co-founder and senior vice president, Elsima Ma'am. Today, I regard it a great privilege and honor to be given the opportunity to felicitate our dearest ma'am. The effort and dedication Ma'am puts into her work are exceptional. Her gentle voice and caring words are always a source of comfort. Ma'am's unwavering support and commitment to the school have, have upheld the spirit and vision of our dear sir over the years. Her remembering the minute details of everyone, such as their roll number, his or her favorite meal, and many other trivialities that sometimes even the students don't remember, always amazes me, especially with a large number of members of staff and students. When the school first started, she took it upon herself to institute an infirmary, and she always ensured that homemade food was prepared and delivered for these six students. Thank you for all your care, ma'am. Today, we are here to celebrate the fact that the world is blessed with one such lady, and we are lucky that it is our dearest ma'am, our co-founder. Dear ma'am, today is the day that you're fulfilled with one more year of memories and a year more of being a mother, grandmother, teacher, and a co-founder. You're the reason we have thousands of memories, friends, and a place to call home. As a representative of the student body, I would like to state that all the students are immensely grateful for your unstinted support during our crucial stages. Today, on your special day, we promise you that we will always be there for you, ma'am. May this year be beautiful, full of prosperity, happiness, and health. Your heart is full of love and deserves the best. We thank you for being you. Happy birthday, ma'am. We all pray for your happiness and good health. Thank you. We are gathered here today to acknowledge the efforts of students who have shown academic excellence during the academic year 2022 to 2023. I request Mrs. Elsima Thomas to kindly give away the prizes for the first three rankers in each class. Uh, we begin with the primary school students. I request ma'am to kindly give away the prizes to the students. We begin with Atharva Gautam of class 3A.
Atharva Gautam has secured the first rank in his class. <clears throat> Following Atharva is Zuri Amrish Patel, who has secured the second rank. Let's have a huge round of applause for Zuri. Heath Hitesh Bhai Bharwad has packed the third rank. In class 4A, the first rank has been secured by Johan Matthew Shireen. Second rank goes to Avni Samra. The third rank holder is Marushika Shekhar. Class 5A, Dev Shah has stood first. Second rank goes to Omav Agarwala. And Tanishka Jain has secured the third rank. In class 5B, Likit Reddy Duda has stood first. Raylan Benicia Anthony has secured the second rank. And Kashinath Midun has backed the third rank. Thank you, ma'am. Could you please come? We now move on to middle school. From grade 6A in the first rank, we have Ashwini Ivan Bagaria. The second rank holder is Pragati Nandakumar. The third rank goes to Hridan Agarwal. From grade 6B, we have Ganeev Singh Saluja securing the first rank. Priyansh Rishi Gupta, the second rank. And Nang Thiong Namshum, the third rank. We move on to grade 7A. In the first place, we have Krithin.
In the second place is Adiv. And in the third place is Swayam. Grade 7B. The first rank holder is Arav Manoj Jangir. The second rank holder is Tanish Pallapati. And Avyukt Nagpal is the third rank holder. Grade 8A. The first rank goes to Nirhav G. Vijayan. The second rank to Avantika Jain. And the third rank to Madhav Mitesh Shah. Grade 8B, Nithya Kabra is the first rank holder. The second rank holder is Adya Shri Puvikumar. And the third rank holder is Aditya Mandal. We next move on to Form 1A. The first rank goes to Zachary Jacob. The second rank goes to Diya Shah. And the third rank goes to Akul Kritik Tangaraj. From Form 1B, in the first place we have Gautam Nishant Totla. In the second place, Rishab Rajesh Kadam. And in the third place, Sri Sai Ritvika Sampati. We next have from Form 2A in the first place, Ved Zanwar. Samyak Jain in the second place. And Kandar Thandananjapa in the third place. Form 2B. In the first place, we have Kushaleshwar Govindu. In the second place is Dhruva Umachagi. And in the third place is Maitik Bharat Agara. We move on to Form 3A. In the first place is Swara.
Arman is in the second place. And Sarvaya Heer has secured the third position. From Form 3B, the first rank holder, Kashvi Bansal. The second rank holder, Himani Sarvaya. And the third rank holder is Pranav Totla. From MYP1, the first rank holder is Emmy. The second position has been secured by Sidiksha. And the third position by Sachi. MYP2, Aksha secures the first place. Rumesha, the second rank. And Fiona, the third rank. We move on to MYP3 from Section A. Vyan has secured the first rank. Samkit is in the second place. And Suhan has secured the third rank. From MYP 3B, the first rank holder is Mira. The second rank holder is Aryavir. And in the third rank, we have Tanishk. Thank you, ma'am. I now request Mrs. Sarah Jacob, President, Student, Senior Vice President, Student and Staff Welfare, to give away the awards. We begin with class 9A. The first rank holder is Kumaravel Bharat Kumar. The second rank goes to J. Rajesh Panjari. And Jeevan Rajesh Kumar secures the third rank. In grade 9B, the first rank goes to Fernie Jen R. Marak.
Sune Nile Shah has stood second. And Ayona Jaiswal has secured the third rank. In Form 4A, the first rank holder is Pratham Hardik Cheta. Reenav Jignesh Shah has stood second. And Ishan Vidyarthi has secured the third rank. In Form 4B, the first rank goes to Vikramaditya Vaibhav Bipin. Second rank goes to Hridan Bijal Datani. Third rank has been secured by Kritagya Mahajan. In Form 4C, the first rank goes to Nagul Pranav Tamar Silvan. John Thomas has stood second. S. Ramanand has secured the third rank. In Form 4D, the first rank goes to Aditya Amit Kumar Jain. Divesh Shrenik Surana backs the second rank. And Yuvraj Agarwal has stood third. In MYP 4A, the first rank holder is Prisha Vipul Agrawal. Second rank goes to Kush Milan Patel. And Neve Brijesh Gada secured the third rank. In MYP 4B, the first rank goes to Kaina Gulia. Closely in Kaina's wake is Rajveer Vishal Shordia with the second rank. And Tishya Agarwal backs the third rank. In Form 5A, the first rank goes to Sanaya Patapati Hanshika.
Abraham Jacob has secured the second rank. The third rank goes to Nihar. In Form 5B, the first rank goes to Henil Sanjay Bhai Badani. Runal Samir Patel has secured the second rank. The third rank goes to Hutarth Nandania. In Form 5C, Sudarshan Karbari has stood first. And Harshraj Singh Vanar has stood second. Thank you very much, ma'am. I request the principal, Mrs. Sheila Alexander, to kindly give away the prizes to the winners of grade 11. But before we begin with grade 11, we have Aditya Mandal of grade 8B, who has secured the third rank. He's here to receive his prize. He just completed his examination in dramatics. Please give him a big round of applause. <laughs> Aditya Mandal of grade 8B has secured the third rank. We start with ISC. In the first place, we have Rupansh Bajaj. In the second place, Riva Siroya. And in the third place, we have Vedika Krishnan Kuti. From DP1A, in the first rank, we have Pragati Prakash. The second rank holder is Siddhant Sinha. And the third rank holder is Dwiti Manish Sambargi. From DP1B, in the first rank we have Pakya Srimati Arunachalam. Shiv Manish Punjabi is the second rank holder. And Hemangani Vinkal Chawla is a third rank holder. We move on to DP1C. In the first place is Ishika Agarwal. In the second place is Parashi Thakkar. And in the third place is Shlok Rajesh by Soratya. <laughs> From
from DP1D. The first rank is shared by Namya Surana and Pal Harshadbhai Nandaniya. The second rank goes to Arnav Garg. Third rank is shared by Tamanna Thakur and Yash Chauhan. Thank you, Shilamas. I now request the president, Mr. Jacob Thomas, to kindly give away the prizes to the first three rank holders of grade 12. We begin with DP2A. In the first place is Veer Vishal Davaria. In the second place is Asfia Asif Thara. And the third place is shared by Viveka Vinod Rabara and Prashad Harish Kumar Patel. From DP2B, the first place goes to Maharshi Diren Mevada. The second place to Heer Bharatbhai Hapani. And the third place to Bhumi Goenka. We move on to DP2C. The first rank holder is Adik Ravram. The second rank holder is Parth Dinesh Bhai Monpara. And the third rank holder is Kavya Jitendra Bhai Kakadiya. From DP2D, the first rank holder is Sarvadanya Surana. The second rank is shared by Krish Abhishek Tulsian. And Devika Prashant Thakur. The third rank in DP2D goes to Advika Mahadek. Thank you, sir. It is now time for our beloved co-founder, Mrs. Elsima Thomas, ma'am, to cut her birthday cake. Let us all join in wishing her many happy returns and a healthy, prosperous, rich, satisfying, and fruitful life ahead. Uh, all can stand up and give a round of applause for ma'am.
We'll all uh, sing together. All together, okay? I can hear you nice and loud and clear. You'll all get your cake during lunchtime. Okay? You'll all get your cake, your share of cake. We'll now have the sections uh, handing over their cards to ma'am, wishing ma'am uh, happy day. We'll start with uh, PS, primary school. Uh, P.S. Beautiful card, P.S. I know it's with love.
Uh, please be seated. And you can cheer while you're seated. You can, uh, middle school, that looks so lovely. High school. You can have that uh, icing. Icing for you. The icing of the cake. High secondary. Uh, Mr. Raj Shekhar, could you please come here? Raj Shekhar, sir. Raj Shekhar, sir, Dom Parent. Anil Amis. Kalyan sir, on behalf of the staff that are present here, all Kokri, all academic, staff at all levels,
Emma Thomas to address the assembly. Good morning, everyone. So my day is made, I must say. Himangini, all my thanks go to you. You started it all. I think you have done a lot of homework before coming to this podium. I don't know from where all you collected it. You did a lot of homework, I must say. Is it Himangini? You are comparatively a new student. You did a lot of homework, yeah? You have not seen me work. I can, I can agree that for the past 43 years, I've been doing so many things in so many ways. After that, my health also started failing. I had lots of ups and downs in my life, so I couldn't continue most of the things. I'm sorry about that. Sheila Mays, Anila Mays, most of them know about me, I, how I used to work. What all you said, most of it, yes, I agree to that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Himangini. Anyway, today is a very special day. Welcome to our annual prize day ceremony. A warm welcome to our president, Jacob Thomas. Now everybody knows that he's my son, my eldest son, Sarah Jacob, senior vice president and student welfare, principal Sheila Alexander, who walked in as a bride. Now I can call her Sheila Alexander. I don't have to address her as Mrs. Sheila Alexander. Senior management team, members of the staff, and my dear students. Annual Prize Day is a momentous occasion that holds a special place in my heart as the day is dedicated to all the students who have excelled in their academic performance during the year. That doesn't mean we are discarding all the other students. This is only a stepping stone, children. Next year, maybe some other children can come up and receive this prizes. That's what I want. Did you get it? The children who are sitting behind, not in blazer. Yes? Say yes or no. Yes, you have to work hard. This is a great moment of pride and honor for me an incredible opportunity to acknowledge and celebrate the accomplishments of my dear students. My hearty congratulations to all the meritorious students who have achieved spectacular results in the board examinations. We are so proud of you. All those students who did extremely well in the board examinations, we are very proud of them. At Good Shepherd International School, we always encourage our students to excel in whatever they do, whether it's academics, sports, or extracurricular activities. We are grateful that we have some of the best or the finest academic faculty in the country. We are always determined to take up the challenges and willing to go that extra mile to provide the best education to you. I would also like to take this opportunity to extend my sincerest gratitude to all the teachers for their unwavering dedication, guidance, and inspiration they have offered to our students in every step of their way. Remember, kids, learning in, is way of 
way beyond poring over voluminous books, memorizing lessons, and becoming the top ranger in class. It is about building resilience to face life's toughest challenges in a rapidly evolving, highly competitive world. Life is full of challenges and uncertainties, but it is important for you to know not to allow yourself to be disillusioned or bogged down by the hurdles that life throws at you or give up or adopt the attitude that things manages, things are too hard. Sometimes we feel things are very hard. No, we have to take it as it comes on our way and we have to make it happen. Nothing is impossible. Here, I am reminded of an inspiring quote by Paulo Coelho. When we least expect it, life sets us a challenge to test our courage and willingness to change. At such a moment, there is no point in pretending that nothing has happened or in saying that we are not yet ready. The challenge will not wait. Life does not look back. So look upon life's challenges and an opportunity, as an opportunity to rise up, an opportunity to learn, grow, and emerge at a, as a better student, a better human being, and more productive member of society. Your education will stand you in good stead throughout your life. So it's always said without education, a man or a woman is nothing. Just by going to a school or a college, and if you are not educated, or if you don't study well, you are nothing. In fact, it is the best gift you can ever receive in your life. However, what matters most is your determination and perseverance to achieve your goals. So, focus on your goals and prepare well for your examinations. You will find, definitely get good grades. This year too, we are expecting the best board results. And I really hope all of you will come out with flying colors. All the students who are seated here, I'm sure that you are going to come out in flying colors. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman philosopher said, it in eight words, simple words, that can determine your destiny. I quote, our life is what our thoughts make it. Our life is what our thoughts make it. I unquote. So we have to always remember this. Our life will make our destiny. Another thing which I want to tell you is never let success get to your, into your head and never let failure get to your heart. Remember, your grades don't define you. You are much more than your grades. If you don't get the perfect score or if you don't do well in a subject, it doesn't mean you are a failure. Take it as an experience and put your best efforts to accomplish your goals. Lastly, be grateful to and all to for all the privileges that you have in your life. Sometimes it is easy to feel 
miserable because you are going through a tough time in life however remember that no matter how bad your situation may seem there are tens of thousands of things to be grateful for in life your parents your family your friends a healthy mind a healthy body your job and so much more be thankful that you are born into a privileged background and have a wonderful opportunity to study at a private school you might have listened to tv programs nttv and other programs how the children are suffering in in uh, uh, in, in day schools and in other not private schools government schools without proper toilet sanitary facilities so in a private school you are blessed you get all the facilities never take this benefits for granted but because it is being handed to you by your parents tell yourself i give my best in whatever way i can i am a precious possession of my parents i will make them happy i would like to repeat this during the prize day three p's i am a precious possession of my parents three p's if you remember this you will never deviate from your studies or your duties congratulations to all the prize winners again once again work hard learn well and make your parents and the entire gsi family proud of you hope all of you had a wonderful midterm break spend quality time with your dear ones i would like to leave you with a beautiful quote by ralph waldo emerson to appreciate beauty to find the best in others to leave the world a bit better whether by a healthy child a garden patch to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived this is to have succeeded thank you children thank you for this opportunity and for celebrating my birthday today thank you very much thank you and god bless thank you mr dominic special thank you to you The expression of gratitude will be conveyed by Shiv Manish Punjabi, the boys' school captain. I want to start by wishing Ma'am a very happy birthday. Moreover, I would like to thank her for consistent dedication and effort to make our school successful for decades. Ma'am, we are grateful for your kindness and unique character in ensuring that this school students are cared for. Ma'am, for all the students, it is because of your gracious presence that our school is termed as a hope away from our home. Thank you, ma'am, for being a role model for us and showing us that capturing the essence of our potential is not a distant dream however a certain reality for which the only key ingredient is hard work lastly i would like to thank ma'am for recognizing the academic efforts of students providing us with an increased motivation to strive for excellence i would also like to congratulate the students who received prizes today for securing various class rankings most importantly i thank our teachers by enabling us to do so with their unrelenting support 
no matter how many times we may vexingly ask them about our doubts. I would like to thank staff at all levels that made this possible, as well as our MCs, Ms. Rekha, Ms. Aditya, Siddhant, and Shayan, as well as Himangni for delivering the welcome address. Thank you all, and I would like to wish everyone seated here a great day ahead. Once again, happy birthday, ma'am. All I requested to rise for the school anthem.